3 day master John Curtis here and we're celebrating the uh, opening of the uh, Broken Hill Chess Club which is located in Broken Hill and uh, a lot of people are broke in Broken Hill and um, it's in the middle of Australia right in the middle of the desert there right in the smack dab in the middle of Australia and uh, on the uh, it's uh, 30th of November. We have the big final, the big final of the Broken Hill Chess Club. And uh, the two protagonists, uh, or antagonists, or whatever you want to call them, uh, from the Broken Hill Chess Club that are in the final, are uh, one John Elder occupation, Piss Pot. That's right. He's a Broken Hill Piss Pot, drinks lots and lots of plonk and beer, and uh, he's... Uh, Opponent will be Adrian Berg, I believe, and Adrian um, uh, actually went to the chess bra camp in Mexico. So I'm sure um, Grandmaster Eric Hansen and his team would have prepared Adrian at the chess camp for this uh, vital uh, showdown between the Broken Hill Piss Pot. He's probably drank more beer than anybody else in Broken Hill. And um, the well-trained um, Adrian Berg from the, uh, the chess bra um, <laughs> chess camp in Mexico. Okay, so well, let's get in with uh, the game I'm presenting to you. I'm, I'm showing you a game uh, played by Captain Dope. Uh, Captain Dope on chess.com is actually uh, John Elder, who is in the final uh, in Broken Hill. And Captain Dope is rated 1,263. Yes, a mighty 1,263. And he's in the game here, what we're featuring, he's playing Anime, Anime F. And he's from Morocco, a very, very uh, uh, exotic place, Morocco. And uh, we'll see how um, uh, Captain Dope performs against Anime. Uh, the uh, chess.com analysis says that the game was actually a giveaway. One player was winning, but then he gave it away. So it looks like Anime was winning. And the Captain Dope, that's right, the Dope, has managed to pull off another miracle. Let's see how he did it. The game has got 20 minutes each on the clock. And uh, White opened with a D4. We're looking at it from Black's perspective because that's Captain Dope, the finalist of the Broken Hill Chess Club Championship. Knight F6 was played by the Dope. And now Bishop to F4, it's the London. And uh, we're going to see today how Captain Dope dismantles the London. I'm sure Hikaru and, um, and Gotham Chess will all be looking at my Agatamore channel. I'll all be looking at um, how Captain Dope dismantles the London Bishop. So without further ado, we'll get on. Knight to D5 now. I've never seen this move played before against the London. This is absolutely ridiculous. So, uh, but uh, this is the Dope for you. Um, Bishop returns to G3 and gets a star move by the chess engine at chess.com. And the chess engine's looking 18 moves deep. But no doubt, the dope has taken his lens caps off his binoculars and he's looking further into the future than his uh, honourable opponent from Morocco, Enemy F. Okay, he played E6 and now E3 was played. Right now, um, I will be honest, e4 is a much better move, uh, because it get, gains the center, chases that pesky knight away. But he plays passively there, and this could be enemy's undoing. This could be where the, the piss pot has a few more beers, um, gets a few ideas in his head, and rolls over his opponent. Let's see what took place. He played c5, he gets a star move. How on earth, with all the moves on the board, would a drunken piss pot find the best move on the board? I don't know. It's a bloody miracle, right? But miracles do occur. Okay, C3 was played. Very, very conservative. 
Of course, he could have chased the knight away with c4, but he's, he's being conservative white. He's a bit worried about the dope, you see. He's giving the old dope some respect. I don't know whether he's heard that he's in the final of the Broken Hill Chess Championship, but he's giving the, bro the, the, um, the dope a bit of respect. Knight c6, then knight f3. Uh, bishop e7, not a good move. Um, f5 was not too bad here because it stops this e4. e4 is a bit nasty, so f5 wasn't a bad idea. Um, so uh, he played bishop e7, not a good move. And now bishop c4, well, that was the wrong idea. Um, pawn to c4 was much better, far more effective. In this type of position, you can actually just push the pawn and when the knight moves, you can push the d pawn further, right? This pawn, you can just push that through as well and attack a knight, gain some tempos and some momentum in the center with your better, better development, better placed pieces. Okay, so bishop c4 was played by our friend from Morocco, um, uh, uh, Amini Mef. Uh, right, knight to b6. Now, this is not a bad move. It attacks a bishop and uh, puts it on notice. It's got to move. He moves it there. <laughs> he went to c6, uh, to, b, uh, to uh, b5, threatening bishop takes c6. And uh, the idea is not a bad idea. As you will see in the game, um, black does get a bad pawn structure. Uh, castles. And now he takes the knight. Well, he's not forced to take the knight. He hasn't castled himself yet. And again, this may be his undoing, right? So he's taken that. And um, <laughs> it's certainly a unique and unusual but effective manner that the, that the drunken dope. I, I saw a, uh, a video, uh, a kung fu video, it was called Drunken Master, right? Where this, this drunken kung fu master w wanders all over around China Chop sueys everybody up. Well, this is a little bit the way the uh, Captain Dope operates. Um, uh, queen to d3, unusual move. And uh, black played d5, which is in it. So it's got question mark, exclamation mark. But it is, in fact, a good move against the beginner. Uh, secures central squares, uh, e4 and c5. Knight to d2, it's a developing move. Uh, he right, should have castled though. A5, and now there's a problem. Um, Black's, Black's uh, shown his intention to whack the queen with bishop there, right? So um, obviously um, White decides that he's got a beautiful pawn structure. White says, I've got a beautiful pawn structure here. Um, perhaps I'll find a way to destroy it. That's right. He's going to light a bomb under his own pawn structure. Really clever, and he's not going to castle either. He says, come and get me. He says, come on, Captain Dope. Come on, come and get me. And it, knight, so he plays knight to e5. Now, he's actually threatening knight takes pawn, which would be a winning move. Right? And now the Dope plays queen e8. Probably has another, right? Has another few beers, plays queen e8, protects his pawn. And now e4 is uh, played. Now you might you might say, hold on a minute, didn't John just say? Didn't the Fide Master just say that uh, White had a good pawn structure and he's finding a way to destroy his pawn structure? Yes, exactly. That's what's happening. So Bishop hits Queen, Queen goes there, and now pawn, uh, pawn to f uh, f6. So it's attacking the knight and trying to send it back. Go back, you carrion dog. Go back, back. Anyway, let's see what he did. Well, he did. He went uh, sort of sideways. Uh, the knight's trapped. So w we know that the knight can't go here, can't go back here. So h4 in this position, uh, h5, I should say, would win the knight because the knight's trapped. I think everyone would agree with that. Yeah, that's trapped. That knight is definitely trapped. Okay, but what did the what did drunken master? I mean, um, what did Captain Dope do? We well, played queen to g g six. Uh, well, as we can see that if the if he played this move, the engine would have said, "Oh, nice move! I'm going to give you a star for that move. It's a star move." 
and uh, let's have a look, see what the engine says. Yeah, engine likes, does it like H5? It doesn't seem to attack a knight that can't be protected. What does the engine say about that? Now remember, Captain Dope's got 13 minutes left. His opponent's got 16 minutes. It says H5 is good and C tags D4 is best. Oh, there you go. So H5 is good and C tags D4 is even better. So what did the Captain Dope do? He played Queen G6. He played neither of those moves. Well, that's right. The piss pot played neither of those moves. He thought, oh no, I'll have another beer and I'll work it out later. Um, H3 was played, so this is not a bad idea. I think Amin uh, Amini Mef uh, from Morocco has seen that there's a square for his knight now. He's found the square. He must have known that his knight was trapped. So he's worked it out. I can go back here and here. Right. <clears throat> and pawn takes pawn is now played. Gets a star move for it. It's amazing that the dope found that move. How did the dope find so many star moves? I don't know. Okay, so pawn takes pawn. And now, what does he play? Bishop pins the knight. Well, that's a logical move. Remember, this bishop here is stopping white castling, right? So white's got a problem castling. White's pop has got several problems in the position, but castling is certainly one of them anyway. A rook c... <laughs> rook c1... And he gets a uh, question mark for that. So um, he's played a few good moves and a few bad ones. And in comes the dope. Knight c4. He's attacking a queen and he's attacking the knight. So what does uh, the uh, Moroccan play? Well, he plays queen to e2. He decides to, to, to pin the knight against the bishop. I've never seen this before. It's absolute pure bloody genius. And with that, he took uh, the dope, took the knight. And then white, uh, Amini Mf, he, he sees now that his queen's attacking the bishop. Now, will he capture the queen, the bishop? What's his plan? He seems to be attacking something. Well, he's decided he's going to run away. He's going he's gonna, to, he decided he'd run away. And uh, in comes a big check. And with that, queen to d2. He, he thought he'd put his queen in. Um, it might have been more prudent to put the rook in, but he decided, no, I'll put the queen in instead. And knight takes. He took with the knight. And now pawn to f3, and he gave him another check. So it, it's not looking good for Amenemeth. And it looks like Captain Dope has destroyed the London system. Uh, rook c3. And now knight takes g3. Oh, my God. Another, another excellent move by the Dope. That, that's uh, at minus m15 as opposed to minus m6. Bishop takes c3 was best. He plays king to uh, f2. And finally, it's the best move. He gets a star move. So the Moroccan gets a star move. We'll give him a clap for that one. King, oh, knight takes rook. He's dropped his rook. And the dope's got another star move. Okay, so, and that is when Amini said, oh, I haven't got many pieces left. I think I'd better set them up again. And uh, that was the end of the game. So our, our finalist, Captain Dope, who just destroyed the London and... Uh, He's probably going to be famous now. He'll probably get lots and lots of videos made about him by Hikaru and Gotham Chess and uh, John Bartholomew and all the leading practitioners and Pierre Cramling and just to name just a few. I reckon that um, uh, even the, um, the, uh, the great master, the great grandmaster uh, will be um, featuring our friend, Captain Dope from Broken Hill, and I'm talking about none other than Grandmaster uh, Ben Feinstein. Feinstein? <laughs> ben Feingold. Ben Feingold. Ben Feingold. Anyway, I'm sure Ben Feingold would probably be uh, putting the uh, Captain Dope uh, uh, unusual move, move three, I think it was, 
if we go back to the beginning, uh, this is the, uh, the modern theory now after this game has been played. This is how you destroy the London uh, with a few beers. Uh, London, he plays the London move and then you put your knight up there. Well, I've never seen anything like it in my life. But uh, if the dope played it, must be good. So I'm going to sign off now. And I'm looking forward, like you probably are, to getting the results of the big final on the 30th of November in the Broken Hill Library in Central Australia between Captain Dope, John Elder, and um, Adrian Berg, I believe it is, uh, the uh, two combatants. Don't forget, Adrian Berg um, has been uh, trained, trained at the chess camp of the chess bra, uh, Martin Hamilton and Eric Hansen. He was telling me about uh, what a great training camp it was too. The Chess Bras training camp in, in Mexico. He said he thoroughly enjoyed himself. Uh, particularly he liked the open bar. Right? Well, too bad if Captain Dope was there, he would have drunk them dry. Anyway, I'm going now. And uh, I uh, want to wish you all a Merry Christmas. And uh, Grandmaster Teddy would like to say a few words. Merry Christmas, everybody, from Grandmaster Teddy. There we go. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. So if you like the video, thumbs up and uh, the video. Or you can uh, just sort of follow the channel if you're not already following it. And you get notification of more videos as they come online. Okay. Check out all the others. Check out all the other videos, uh, including the Grandmaster Secret. And um, my double check, double check, double checkmate video. That's a particularly good one. Okay, so I'm going to sign off now and say Arrivederci.